Hey guys, it's Ta from Ta's Halls and Things. So today I went to Walmart and I noticed a lot of their school supplies were starting to drop in price, which was great. I went to the neighborhood market and I went to the Super Walmart and I found a few things. I didn't get a whole lot because I already have so many school supplies stashed away, but I did talk to the school today and they said that I can bring whatever I want to donate to the school because I have like four boxes that I really don't need a lot of notebooks and stuff so I figured I would bring that but while I was at Walmart I found like I said a few things the crazy art glue these were I think 25 cents um, before these were 10 cents today so I picked up about two three dollars worth of these to uh, put with the school donations and I want to say the Elmer's two sticks were 25 cents and they were 50 so those went down i did notice the crayola pencil sharpeners that were two for a dollar are now 25 cents um the fiscar sharpeners that were a dollar were marked at 75 cents um i'm trying to remember what else i should have took pictures i'm horrible at remembering but anyway i found this eraser it is by pen and gear these were on sale five for a dollar and this one was 10 cents so i picked that up that was at the neighborhood market and then i've only found one of those at the uh super walmart but i did find this it is pen and gear it's 100 erasers and i paid four dollars and fifty cents which is a pretty good deal um, a lot better than the 10 cent ones so I have a friend her son eats erasers that's what she says because he's always going through them so I said well I'll get this one and give him a stack of one color and we'll see how long that lasts him but there's a few like I said there's a few things that actually had a markdown price the erasers did not I actually scan one on the app to find that out and this was the first time I've ever seen the 100 pack of erasers, which was pretty cool. Um, and I want to say they had some pencils that were on clearance too. But I only buy the, um, not even sure how to say it. You guys probably saw the green packaging with the yellow pencils. I start with the letter T, Ticondera or something like that. Those are the ones I typically buy because I find they last a lot longer. So, um, I'm still using, like I didn't buy any this year. I still have some I had gotten on clearance at Walgreens last year. So, I'm going to use those until I run out. And I'm hoping to be able to find some. I had seen some people get them at Target uh, a couple weeks ago on clearance. But I have not made it to Target to check. Because it is a little bit far away. And it's been raining. It is raining right now, guys. You can see started the DIY for you went to go spray paint and the sky fell out so hopefully it's not raining tomorrow but I did hear there was a cold front coming so we might get out of the 100s and get down into the 70s which would be great because it is hot so hot you can't even go outside without breaking a sweat it's ridiculous and I did yard work yesterday so miserable but anyway also I wanted to ask what suppers do you guys normally cook for like when it's back to school especially in the beginning of school where you're so busy trying to get back into that schedule um i meal plan this week and i'm gonna do like a spaghetti one night tacos one night hamburgers uh what else oh and then i'm gonna do a crock pot recipe of a chili mac that i found on pinterest they love chili mac at school so I'm going to do that tomorrow because we have dance tomorrow and with my daughter and my niece in dance on the same day we are two hours at the studio so by the time I get home I don't want to cook or really I don't have time to cook something and keep them on their schedule of homework bath time bedtime so I typically just you want a hot pocket you want something out the freezer and I just heat it in the microwave so this week I figured let's do a crock pot meal on that day that way it is done and they can eat something hot that is not out of a box so we will see how that goes 
But let me know down below what are some of your recipes that you guys use that kind of help you stay on track as far as time-wise cooking. I'm looking for a 30 minute or less would be great. Um, I do have one picky eater and I don't know how to fix that. So do you know how to fix a picky eater? What can I do to improve her menu, I guess I would say? Um, because it's not working not working at all so let me know down below and that's all i have for today i will see you guys in my next video please like and subscribe and remember when i hit 100 we're gonna do a giveaway bye guys